I'd like to go through this section by section, starting with the general section. And that's where you configure those things that we've, well, the general things we've discussed the most. For example, the point source. In the case of this ping interface, it's J, but as you can see, it can change. This is where we'd specify the interface ID. Here are the scan classes. And um, and you may find on the, the most recent version of this, I believe we've actually moved some of this around, so you may see it a little bit differently on yours. Also, we specify the server that we're uh, getting data or sending data to. Uh, on your system. It typically would be localhost if you're configuring the ping basic to go locally. And this is the user and uh, some other information about your server, etc. Now in addition, we have a whole host of other switches here or tabs. If you go into Uniant here, Uniant is where we would store all those things that we would consider the the reusable code that uh, that we integrate into a lot of different interfaces to provide general functions. I'll give you a good example. Establishing a connection to the Pi server. That's a very general feature and so we build that into Uniant. Uh, monitoring the point database for changes using Update Manager. That's all built into Uniant. So all those things that would control those generic features all those little things are set here. So for example, what's the maximum stop time before we just kick out the interface. If we're trying to stop an interface and it doesn't respond in 120 seconds, if it doesn't stop gracefully, then we can specify that we just stop the process. And there's things like startup delays, etc. Uh, one of the more interesting things is this interface shutdown, which hap has to do with what we do when a shutdown occurs on the interface. We'll talk more about that when we talk about shutdown events in a few minutes. And things like debug. Uh, the debug level can be set to either be very verbose by setting maximum or just sparing. So typically what we see people do is they turn debugging on entirely while uh, they're testing and then after testing they just turn debug off uh, for the most part so that it uh, increases speed. So these types of things, these are all the generic things that are built into Uniant. Uh, we see support for failover, support for different metrics like performance points and health points which will We'll talk about more um, later on. So those are the things that uh, within this interface configuration utility, those things are the common things that we'd find on all interfaces. Now, in addition, we have things that are specific to certain interfaces. Uh, for example, this is what is specific to the Piping interface. It's really not much. It's just the timeout. But um, that's the timeout on the ping itself. So uh, with something like OPC interface, you know, OPC is kind of a committee project for the uh, the OPC um, standard is something that a lot of different vendors adhere to. So as you might guess, those things that are specific to OPC are absolutely uh, legion. I mean, there are many, many different switches available. So you'll find several different tabs just for OPC as we're going to see later on. And then some of these other fields are where we would do things like uh, for example set up the service, uh, install this to run as a service. Now we just, by the way, we just saw one of the many warnings you'll see in ICU. ICU occasionally will warn you that a certain well, a certain situation doesn't exist. In this case it says that we do not have a a dependency on the buffering and typically we do recommend buffering so we're asking if you would want to do that for you. So in this case I'm going to say no. So we'll come back and look at some of these other features uh, as we move on.